Hey everybody, welcome to another Dark and Light video. Today we're going to go and try to get our first flying creature. So last video we unlocked the Burunda. I think, I don't, I don't know, I'm terrible at pronunciation. We unlocked its saddle, which is kind of like the two-headed vulture thing. That's pretty much the first flying thing you can tame in the game. So we unlocked that. And we pretty much have all the materials except the fur. So real quickly, I'm going to go ahead, collect the fur, come back, make the saddle, and then we're going to go ahead and go out and try to actually tame one of these things. Okay, guys, I think we have an opportunity here to catch this one. And we don't exactly have the saddle yet, but I'm super, super close. So I'm guessing, or I'm thinking maybe we should just take this one right now. I have some meat on me anyway. Let's just go ahead and try to pick this one off. Unless, is there some like, is there anything trying to attack me? No? Okay. Let's try this again. It's like stuck in the tree. Okay, well, we got it glitched here, which is nice. Now we can pretty much just, uh, you know. Oh, God. It's like, is a, is a Wavern trying to do something? No, apparently it's just running away. Okay. The Wavern is down. Let's go ahead and put that down just like that. Put some meat in there. Now, there's a griffin right close. We got to make sure to defend it. Okay. I think we're good. Please tell me that rock golem doesn't want to fight. You know what? I, it, I could kill it while it's fighting something else. Okay, nothing's hurting my thingy. It's just screeching because that's what it does. Might as well just kill both, right? Bam. Oh, don't fall into my... Into my thingy. Okay, well... Doesn't seem like there's any sort of danger around. I'm just gonna keep an eye on this guy's constitution. And we should be able to tame him. Oh, and there goes my bow. But I can fix it. But yeah. And while this is happening, oops, I'm going to go over right here. I'm going to keep farming. We could possibly attempt a double tame. There's another guy right over here. We could attempt a double tame. Let's see what level this guy is at. 23? Okay. Let's attempt a double tame here. Okay. We did not get a double, but we can set up another one right here but we gotta get some materials and we gotta do it fairly quickly but yeah I'm gonna start training both of these guys alright so we've got this use 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 place it on the floor and quickly stick in some meat now I'm gonna grab some meat from the other one but, alright. Let me make sure that one's thoroughly grounded. This one's going to be a bit harder to tame. It's going to tame a lot faster. Now, let me make sure this thing isn't about to run away. Okay, see, this one's constitution is already super low. So, we got to watch them. Because they're, they're going to start, like, tanking pretty quickly. And even this one. Um, Can we... How do I split these up? Uh, okay. Let's place that one over there. Can we... S let's split that one. Okay, there we go. Split that bad boy. We could even attempt a triple. Maybe. We could attempt a triple, though I don't know if I have enough meat. I'm kind of scared too, because I, at the same time, if I run out of arrows, they're just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna attempt it. If I run out of arrows, I'm gonna lose all of them. Alright, there we go. That is our first one. Uh, 
I don't know what to name him. Uh, okay, for now he's gonna be a flying boy. Uh, because right now, this one is in kind of dire danger. This one over here. I might lose this one. Because... I don't think I have enough food for him. Okay, you. I'm gonna need you to... Uh... S well, let me get close to you. I'm gonna need you to stay. And then, both of them need food. Okay, I'm gonna have to go hunt some food down, like, right now. So, I'm gonna have to knock this thing... Oh, that thing is such a high level. I don't even know if I'll be able to. Well, let's try it out. Ooh. Oh, I just knocked it out of the sky. Okay, cool. Maybe I am strong enough. Neat. Okay, let's search. Oof. Search this guy. Oh, he has plenty of meat. Okay, well... You can go ahead and keep just, like, hitting that guy in the face. But... This... Both of these things need meat. Okay, no, I'm just trying to get my inventory. There we go. Split this. Let's give Flying Boy a little bit here. Because he needs some food. And then we're down to a last meat here, so that's perfect. And then his Constitution. Okay, this is going to be a close one. I have four arrows left. It's definitely going to be close. But if I can manage to get the second one, I'll be leaving here with two flying boys. Which would be really good. I think I'm going to name the second one a vulture boy just because they look like vultures. But, there we go. Now I just got to wait a little bit longer for this one. Alright guys, we are about to get our second flying creature here in one moment. Then we're going to run back to the house. And we're going to have to kind of park him somewhere. We don't really have room for these two because I can't, oh, cause I can't really put him inside my house, I don't think. Yeah, so I don't really know. Let's make sure this one is following. There we go. Now let's get back on this guy and let's go home. Okay, we've managed to get home safely. Now this guy, I can park in here. Oof. Are these... Okay, no, they're still outside of the building. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is... Order that one to stay. Where is this one? Uh, here, can I... Nope, okay, he's good. And this one needs to... This one needs to stay. Okay. And then... This one also needs to... Come on, come on. Stay, bam. Stay right there. Okay, and then for now... I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, dispose of the dangerous things, like this hyena. I'm gonna get rid of it so it doesn't, like, somehow... There's two hyenas. Okay. Can you die, please? There we go. Okay. So what we quickly need to do is actually build a home for them. Right at the side of the building, we're going to build kind of like you could say like a landing pad. So we got we got to do this like right now again before anything attacks them. So this is kind of like going to be really gross. But I'm just going to kind of stick everything in here for now. Because I can't really... I don't really need to hold on to any... A lot of this stuff right now. So let's just kind of put it in here. And then we will make their saddles in a moment. Okay, everybody. So we got all the building materials together. Our two birds are still alive. Ugh, we need to get rid of this tree, I think. I think once this tree is gone, I think we're going to be good. So pretty much how I'm going to do this is I'm going to build pretty much a bigger, another like room, but without a roof so we can kind of land our thingies in there. 
Now, I won't be able to really get them in there without a saddle, so I might want to make that first. But first, man, sometimes I regret putting, like, harvest amount or whatever it's called so high. Man, because these things take forever to go. Let's get this out. So let's start... Uh, oopsies. Let's start building here. Okay, I need to jump out of the way. Now... I'm gonna need him to move so let's get him to following come this way okay now oh I need you to stay just like that please I hate it when they do that like don't go far away okay well that's a, that's a bit far but you know what that's good for our purposes for now to add a couple more now we're gonna need this to be a good size and we've got actually it won't even like let me go past there will it let me go here no will it let me go back here oh, apparently that's too high that's too low it's kind of annoying that it won't like it won't let you build you know what that's fine though I guess let's just build it like that and then one more. And let's build some walls. Bam! We're only gonna we are only going to make these one high because we're gonna need to fly these things in there. There's no reason for them to be super high. Okay, can I like not put a wall down? There we go. Okay, there we go. So this is a little bit of room, and of course I'll fix this up later on and we could even move our two other things in now we also need to make like a doorway door frame and then a door there we go and let's see do we have enough for a, like a saddle right now let's put that door in there do we have enough for the saddle I think we, we might just be short just a little bit, honestly. We have plenty of hide, that's for sure. Now, let me just find my fur. Yeah, I, I, when I get the bigger chests, I'll definitely have to organize. So I got 23 there. And then... Okay, I got 49 in total, correct? And how many am I going to need? I'm going to need... Where is the thing? We're going to need 65. So we're going to need 26 more. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to try to get these guys in here. And then I'm going to go hunting for more. Okay, so these guys clearly don't get the message. I told that one to stay and it's all the way over there. Then I don't even know where this one's going. Yeah, I don't, I don't, what are, you, what are you doing, buddy? Okay, I guess you'll just chill out right there. Okay. Well, at this point, I just kind of have to hope they don't die. Like, yeah, I guess please don't die. And I'll be right back because can't really do much yet. All right, I think I finally have enough to make it, right? Uh, let's see, what else do I need? Now I just need a little bit of twine. I could probably grab from this tree like right here and then we could go ahead and make the saddle and um well that was like way louder than all the other ones all right now we can make a uh, dru druidic dru whatever i give up at this point with pronunciation but uh we could put one of them away so they don't get killed and then the other one we could take a little test spin kind of check it out now there's a spider, like right there, I can see it. And if that thing attacks it, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure my vulture doesn't die. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill that spider. Bam. Is it dead? It isn't dead. Okay, well it's about to be dead. There we go. Um, is it still, how we need seriously, we, we seriously need one twine. A single twine. Alright, well, 
I guess we could maybe hope to get one with this tool. Okay, there we go. We got one, and let's craft it finally. Um, by the way, in future episodes, I will be making a fur farm, so we don't have to do this, because it took like two hours just to get this one. Obviously, we can't do this every single time. So, um, again, in future episodes, we will build one of those. Let's get the saddle, put, put it on this... Oh, did I not put it on the guy? Okay, take that. And then, yeah, we can fly him up in the air, which is really, really cool. Now, this one we're going to put down. It's a lower level, lower leveled one. So we'll put this one down right here. And then we'll enable it following, enable stay. And search it, and then we'll take that. And that guy's okay over there for now. But before we actually ride it, let's just quickly throw away some of our just junk in here. Actually, we're going to need that meat because we need to feed them. Let's just throw some junk in here before we go. Oh, I don't even know why I have a second staff on me. There we go. Ooh, like dived over there. And we always got to remember, close these doors. I don't think animals will like considerably walk through that door, but better safe than sorry. Actually, this one's a lower leveled one. But maybe it's better this way, so if I die, like, right away. Let's put that, let's put weight and stamina up. Okay, so yeah, we got this flying creature. And pretty much, it's just like any other thing, we got the hunger and the energy bar and weight. Now, we're going to have to upgrade his weight and stamina to go further and carry more. But essentially... Now, technically, the entire map is open to us, pretty much, except there's, like, a lava biome over there where it's actually so hot we die. And then there's, a fr like, a frozen biome past this mountain, and over there we freeze and die. But for those things, we're going to have to get special armors and stuff. But, yeah, pretty much, we could even fly around, fly around in the city. And soon, in well, even maybe even next episode, maybe we'll take a little flying adventure but for now, um, let's just put this guy back. And again, I'm, I don't really know how to build things because, like, I can't build on, like, different elevations. But for now, let's make these two stay. Bam. So, now we got two flying creatures, which is really cool. And what we can even do, we can move our other two animals also outside. There's really no reason for them to be inside. So, let's jump off this one right there. And grab our hyena. By the way, I'm not going to call them by their real names at this point. Like, I'm, they look like an animal. I'm going to call them by that animal. This thing is a hyena. <laughs> so, I'm going to call it a hyena. Ooh. Okay. Can you ride up? You, you good? Okay. I don't know why this one just wants to be difficult and doesn't want to... There we go. And what we're also, we should probably do is get, what is it called? It's like the big stone feeding trough. I think I unlocked it, right? I probably, um, where is it? Yes, this is here. So we got the normal feeding trough, right? No, the feeding trough's not even in here. Oh, but what we are going to do today is make the forge. But where is the feeding trough? It should be here, right? Man, I am lost. Let's make a... Tr Let's just type in trough. Okay. We might just make this one then for now. But just in, just in case I don't want them to go hungry. So let's make the trough. Okay, what am I missing? I'm not missing anything. And what do we need for the forge? So, hide, so we have everything, but I'm pretty sure the stone, right? Because I don't think we have, like, any stone. Yeah, we, we pretty much, like, don't have any stone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to start getting some stone. All right, I'm pretty sure we can make the forge now. Uh, let's type in forge. Yep, we can make it, so let's go ahead and craft that. And then, what else can we craft? I mean, while I've been kind of doing my stuff, I've been unlocking a lot of stuff. And I haven't talked every single time I've unlocked things. 
So there's like a lot of random stuff that I just like haven't seen. Rune of cooling. Okay, so that we can use that against hot temperatures, but let's go ahead and place this. I guess we'll place it over here in this corner. And okay, so we can finally make copper ingots. And with that, obviously, we can get upgraded armor and stuff. And to power the forge is pretty much the same as the campfire. You pretty much get some wood and start toasting the thing. Now, we have a little bit of copper in here. Now, we have some iron, but we can't really use that iron. And I'm pretty sure we're able to use the coal, maybe? But I'm not going to really, really like put the coal in there yet because I don't know what else it does. And I almost just demolished it by accident. But let's go ahead and... Oh, no, I didn't mean to take all. Put these things back. Let's light fire and then craft all of those. See, so yeah, now we got the forge going. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the episode right after we do something. But this today's episode might be a little bit short, but uh, it's like 2 in the morning for me, and I'm kinda tired. But what I do wanna do is let's see, do I have anything super valuable or heavy? Uh, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these flying guys and we're gonna go and do a little bit of exploring But it's not gonna be a suicide mission like last time We're just gonna kind of take a look, you know look at the scenery a bit Ooh, Okay, I'm stuck in the door Let's go ahead and take the higher leveled one So this one's 27 this one's 11, so let's take Saddle off of it. And then... Put the saddle on this one. Alright. Let's get going. So we can kind of take a look. I... You guys haven't really seen the map of the place, which... I don't even... I don't even know if I've... Well, actually, you get... Well, I don't know if I've shown it on video, but when I die, it kind of shows the map of the thing. But, um... The nice thing is NPCs don't attack your creatures either. I guess... The developers are smart enough to code it in where they don't attack your uh, your pets, so that's good. And right now, since it is kind of a low-level creature, it's not going to be too fast. But for now, it'll do. Yeah, this is kind of the town. The town seems like it's gigantic, but primarily it's like these shops. Or well, that's exactly what they are. These ones are shops. This is another kind of like shop. These you can rent out buildings, so when you have like servers and stuff, and then those buildings are pretty much just decoration. You can go in all of them, but they're pretty much just decoration. But the nice thing is, throughout the map, uh, if you guys remember the first episode, we got we had to choose our race, right? So we got either pretty much dwarf, human, or elf. Um, I chose elf. Well, this is the elf city, but there's also a dwarf city, and there's also a human city. And then all around the map are sprinkled in with like different temples, like there's this little ruin right here I shouldn't say temples they are pretty much ruins and meteorites can spawn here now when I played the game last time there wasn't really much to do here uh, it still looks like there's pretty much nothing to do here I'm sure later they'll add something but for now they're just kind of ruins that you could look at and they look nice but um yeah kind of go forward it's a pretty big map over there is that volcanic island and then I know there's a creature called like the Infernus Dragon or something. It's a giant fire-breathing dragon, which we will tame at some point. But, um, yeah. There's kind of like some temples here. I should probably stand to rest a little bit. So let's kind of... Ooh, and there's goblins. I need to make sure I don't get knocked out. But, um, yeah. So then there's that island over there. And if we kind of go past here, there's also... I love how the mountain just shifts, like the entire mountain is being deformed. If we fly over here, there's some... That's where the dwarven... Dwarven? The dwarfs are, those little creatures. The creatures are humans. They're over there in those little spirals, and there's like huge gargoyles and stuff. And then over there where the big tree is, that's like technically the middle of the map type of thing. It's like a full-on like jungle. I don't know if you guys know, but like... um. In Star Wars, the Ewok live, and also kind of resembles like um, Chewbacca's species, uh, where kind of they live. Those little like trees with the little like um, what are they? I don't know what those called, but like little 
floors and stuff. Anyway, it looks like that. And it's like a nice, really cool jungle. And then around where the humans live is kind of like an icy mountain with a lot of like ice creatures. What is this? Okay, I guess we'll check this out and then we'll go home. What? I'm guessing this is just another town, right? But I've never actually seen this. Now, it seems like there's a griffin and a leopard fighting down there. Are these things going to attack? Or are these my people? Th this building structure is elf structure. Now, what are these? Why are they glowing? I are they like alpha sheep? Yeah, they're like... They're like golden sheep. Wonder why they're like that. I'm, I'm, I want to capture them, but I mean, we're so far away from home. Did they move the horse stable? This horse stable used to be in the town, and I was actually wondering why it was gone. You can actually buy these, right? Yeah, but I mean, it's so overpriced. It's ridiculous. And I know there was kind of an exploit where if you kill these... You could take their hide and come back and they'll just respawn. You can actually do that technically. I'm not going to kill them now though. Just because I have no reason to. But that's interesting. They moved the stable from ac the actual city to out here for some apparent reason. Now let's kill these sheep. Do they give me anything special? Do, they, do you give me anything special? Golden fleece. Oh, that's too bad. Again, probably... I could have. Please don't tell me you're gonna kill me. Okay. Yeah, it seemed chill. I don't know why they attacked it. Maybe it's guys I attacked it. If I would have captured those, I could have been producing golden fleece. Because if you capture normal sheep, they make normal fur, which I kind of feel bad for. But at the same time, this is so far away. I would have had to drag them up this mountain and back towards my base, which would have taken probably too long. And I'm sure some of them will spawn near me at some point. But for now, let's head back. And that's keyword at some point. You know what? I could be a little bit mischievous here. And let's go take a look at the jungle. This is this might be a little bit dangerous. I mean, honestly, I only have really one danger in the sky and that's griffins if griffins want to attack me they might be able to kill vulture boy it's happened before so basically those are my only enemies is my griffins in the air another thing that can happen is i could f maybe run out of stamina and fall to the ground and get killed there but my stamina like bar is kind of high since i'm playing single player i made it that way but I'm tempted. Maybe we could just fly over there. Maybe we could take a quick peek. Well, I guess we're... I mean, uh, I don't want to get too close. Not yet. I don't want to die and lose the saddle this quickly, but we definitely need to get away from those griffins because if they latch on to me, it's pretty much GG. And then sooner or later, we will get a wyvern, but we are not high enough leveled yet so that's kind of out of our range but sooner or later we will grab one of those okay the rain is cleared up I'm pretty sure my home is over there right yeah I think that's the tip of a tower and I need to get there soon because if you guys look to the bottom right that little brain bar if that goes down far enough I start taking damage and I start dying so I pretty much need to get home like now Okay, so this might not be my home, actually. And this might be a pretty big problem. Okay, never mind. It is my home. Ah, oh, thank God. And... Okay, so I'm going to die very, very soon, but I pretty much need to land anyway. I'm just going to kind of show you guys what's over here because you guys have never seen this. It's pretty much just like a giant temple church thingy, town hall thingy. Yeah. 
and inside there's like books and stuff so it's nothing too exciting but it's kind of weird to see i've been to the other towns they're like town halls are kind of out in the open and they're small but for some reason only the elf town is like gigantic like this so to me it's weird but yeah i like it though the the elf race is definitely my favorite in actually most games but specifically in this game it is my favorite in this one too but we are finally home that was a pretty scary journey i honestly thought i was gonna uh Losing, I think it's called sanity. I thought I was gonna lose my mind and die, but I have made it. Oof. Okay. Let's land. There we go. So we have made it. Now I'm gonna need you to make sure it stays just like that. Let's make them all neutral. So if something attacks, it does attack back, but it doesn't attack whatever comes our way. But yeah, guys. I think that's going to be the end of today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as I approach my channel, and I will see you guys later. There's something in my eye, and God bless, and goodbye.